Hello everybody and welcome to another video education session from F45 Trade Signals. Uh, today's session we are going to talk about creating multiple take profit levels. And when you're on our website you can log into F45Trading.com, sign up for 30 days if you're not a member yet, uh, for free and you can check out this education session and it'll be all the way down here. Uh, if you see right here in our education library on the tab on the left hand side of the webpage you just click video library and you can see all of our past videos here on how to trade, how to use MT4, uh, putting order entries in. And today's will be right here on creating multiple take profit levels. So I'm going to flip over to the charts here and get started. Uh, this education session is going to be real quick. It's very, very easy. And uh, the point of what we're doing here today is um, a lot of times when this is for trade management. So when you go into a trade, you want to make sure that you've got different profit levels set um, throughout the trade. So if one of our analysts sits down and we put out a trade signal, this one for example, this is just education purposes, this is a demo account, uh, <coughs> excuse me, there's um, you know no live funds traded here or anything like that, uh, but I'm just using an example so you can see if let's say we put a call out on the uh, pound USD, which is, which is this guy right here, the pound USD, and we say, you know what, we think price is going to drop right down into this um, 142.20 area and we think it's going to go higher from there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, well, I think um, we're going to estimate it's going to go run 100 pips. So into tomorrow's trading. So this is a 15 minute chart right now that you're looking at. And this is the day divider. So I think the price is going to trade down here overnight, trigger in London open, and then it's going to make a run during New York uh, trading session and hit the high of 100 pips for tomorrow. Let's just say, for example, <clears throat> Well, what I want to do is I can't always be in front of the charts to make sure that um, my trade is going to go according to plan. Um, so what we always do is we encourage our members to make sure that they take some profits off of the table at plus 30 pips into profit. Always. Uh, that way you can guarantee you got something no matter what the trade does from there. Um, so you take some profits at plus 30 pips, and I've got videos uh, stating this, uh, and then you move your stops up to break even. So even if price does come back down uh, and hits the stop at break even, you still made a partial on 30 pips, so the trade wasn't a total loss. Very, very critical for trade management. Um, it's uh, not just about being profitable, guys, and making these huge windfalls. It's about how you manage your risk after the trade executes and when it's not going in your favor. If you can take some profits off the table when it is in profit, we highly recommend it because it's just going to grow the bottom line. And that's what trading is all about. So what we are going to do in this instant is I've come in and I've created three different uh, pending orders. Okay, so right now the price is at 142.33. So I'm expecting price to drop down another 13 pips into my uh, uh, buy area at 142.20, which is what you see. I've got all three of these trades lined up at 142.20. And I think that they're going to go 100 pips in profit. So in order to start taking partial profits, what I want to do is I want to start at my very first one down here and I want to set it up so I can take 30 pips profit. And again, I can't be in front of the charts all the time. So I want to make sure this gets managed while I'm not in front of the charts. So I set up my first trade and let's say I want to do, I've got uh, one mini, one mini and one mini for each of these three trades. So let's say for a total of my account, whatever it may be, Maybe I'm trading with 5,000, 10,000, it doesn't matter. Um, but you want to take three partial orders of what your overall trade size would be. So if I'm going to go into a trade with one trade and I usually use three minis, for instance, uh, then I will take three trades all at one mini. Maybe I do one full lot. Well, uh, in that case, then I would take, you know, a third, a third, and a third, or break it up into fours, or, or you know, five trades with, uh, with two mini lots each. Whatever you want to do, it's up to you. Uh, this is just for illustration purposes, obviously. This is just a, an easy way to go about it. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my first order, which is entered in at 142.20, which is our entry level. Uh, so I'm assuming, let's just say here, um, I'm just going to, oops, sorry guys. I am just wanted to zoom this in a little. There we go. So I think price is going to do this, okay? If it wasn't clear for my illustration. I think price is going to come down here to my entry level. And then I think we're going to go higher from there, okay, uh, up to my target, which was 100 pips higher um, right there. So that, that's kind of what I think price is going to do, okay? So it's going to come down here and then execute and go higher. 
But what I want to do on that very first trade, I've got my pending order in here at 142.20. I set my take profit at 142.50. Okay, so as the trade moves up, no matter what, at 30 pips, boom, this trade gets triggered. I capture 30 pips at one mini lot. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm putting money into my account no matter what happens. And then I always, I'll, I'll set up a, an alert uh, on my screen to move my profit once the price moves 30 pips in profit, move my stop loss to break even. So I've got the stop loss sitting down here at 30 pips under my entry, which is at the standard that we use. Uh, sometimes it's 40 pips, sometimes it's 20 pips. For this example, it's, it's 30 pips. Um, and uh, I'm going to move that stop to break even for the rest of, of the pending orders. Because at this point, price traded down, it hit 142.20, it triggered all three trades. So all three trades are live. Price starts to move up. The first one gets triggered at 30 pips. <clears throat> and then I move my stop loss to break even, the rest of the remaining two that are open. Then my next one is to come in and take partial profits at 50 pips. Okay, that's another good rule of thumb. 50 pips just seems to be just a nice sort of even number where, where a lot of price, if they're going to be trading it, that's where they, they tend, tend up, uh, end up going into is, is about 50 pips into profit. That's this level. So my second pending order that I've put in here, same thing, I'm entering in at 142.20. I'm going to be getting out at 142.70, 50 pips above my entry level. And you see that one right there, okay? So price comes in, hits my 30, that trade gets executed, I'm done there. Starts going up, hits my next one, which is at plus 50. So I'm putting another partial profit into my bank account, okay? And then price, and, and then from there, actually, if, if you can, if you are in front of your charts, it's always good too. If it hits that 50 pip mark, it's always nice to raise your stop loss uh, to break even plus 10, you know, break even plus 50. You don't want to get too close to price action because you don't want to get caught in the whipsaw. Um, you know, if price does want to do a little bit of retracement, so you don't want to get too close to the price. It's it's a good rule of thumb to leave it about, you know, 30 pips underneath as a trailing stop sort of thing. And you, there are different EAs that you can put into. Uh, this is uh, MT4. You can um, get different EAs to put. Uh, trailing stops in and you can set those trailing stops um, you know at any price level you want uh, 30 pips is a good one um, and then uh, so we got the first order triggered check we got the second order triggered check and uh, I'll just put a little check in here so those are triggered just so you know so we've got two trades one in at 30 one in at 50 in the bank um, all at one lot or sorry one mini lot and we've got the last one on and that one is set at 100 pips, okay? So that's the one that's gonna, you're gonna be sitting throughout the trading day, you're gonna be watching that one. Your stop is moved to break even, you know, plus 30 or 40 or whatever it is. So you're guaranteed, you're not gonna lose any money on this trade, um, everything's good. You've got that last one sitting there and you wait for that one to execute. If it hits the 100 pips, great. If it doesn't, it doesn't matter because you're in profit, you've got money in the bank. They can't take that away from you no matter what happens. Your stop loss is above break even, so you are always going to be profitable. This is the winning strategy when it comes to trading. This is what you want to do. You always want to set these levels. Now, this strategy is used if you can't be in front of the charts at all times, okay? so. A lot of people aren't day traders. A lot of people have day jobs. So what we do is we put a signal out in the evening before you go to bed, you log in, you check out our signals. So you go to our webpage over here, you log in, you check out our signals and you say, oh, uh, here's some, some uh, trade signals on a Tuesday. You get the trade signal, you come in, you put your uh, pending limit order in um, right below the market because we're expecting a, a, a long uh, signal entry. And you put all those in, you set your different take profit levels, you go to bed, the trade executes during the evening while you're sleeping. You wake up in the morning and you see, oh, look, uh, my first take profit level has been triggered and trade the, the trade, the price is just about to hit my second take profit level at 50 pips. Perfect. I'm going to go to work and do my day. I don't need to do anything except move my stop loss to break even. Okay. That's very, very critical. Uh, and then I go out through the day. I do my job. I'm checking in every now and then. And um, I see, oh, look at that. Um, the trade has just come up and taken my 100 pips and trade well done, okay? So you get different profit levels, you get money in the bank, and again, you're moving your stop to break even or break even plus a few, and that way they cannot take the um, um, that back from you. So uh, that is it. It's a very, very simple thing to do, very easy strategy to employ, but the critical thing is you've got to make sure, you look down here, 
you have to reduce your trade size if you're going to do this strategy. So if I typically trade at one lot and I'm only putting in one petting in, uh, order in at one lot, um, I want to make sure I'm not entering three pending orders at one lot because that's going to be huge. It could potentially uh, um, do a mar uh, create a margin call on your account if the trade goes against you. So reduce your size, reduce your size, reduce your size, always, okay? Uh, so that is very, very critical. Uh, and that pretty much wraps up the um, uh, this portion of the video education session. Um, you can also get these live uh, uh, updates and everything direct to your phone as well. Um, just want to call your attention to that real quick. If you go onto our website, click right here, join live chat uh, and instant trade signal notification. You can then go through and download it to direct to your phone. So when these triggers, when these trades execute, you can be sure that you're capturing all of these and all the, the ins and the outs and the, the updates from our uh, expert trading analysis, uh, analyzers who are sitting in front of the charts all day long doing this for a living. Um, so that's the great thing about using our website. So f45trading.com, uh, come in, check it out if you're not already a member and uh, start deploying the strategy because it works all the time. Thanks guys, we'll see you in the next video education session.